brought to you by GTA. We start with you. A survey conducted recently by the University of Guam states that 23% of Guam's coconut palms, or 1 in 5, show signs of attack by coconut rhinoceros beetles. In efforts to control the rhino beetle problem on Guam, Dr. Aubrey Moore, an entomologist at UOG, came up with a new survey method that would help prevent damage from the pest. The rhino beetle you may have come across on the island is the coconut rhinoceros beetle, biotype G meaning it behaves differently from the normal rhino beetles and G is for Guam because it was discovered here on the island in 2007. Dr. Moore says that whenever you are trying to control an issue, you must keep records of them. In the past, a way observers monitored was to use 2,000 pheromone traps, also known as the barrel traps across the island. However, those were blown away by Typhoon Dolphin in 2015. They weren't able to reestablish that monitoring system, but still had to record what rhino beetles do. So instead of reusing an outdated system, Moore developed a new monitoring method. I decided, well, let's look at what we're really trying to do, and that's prevent damage from the rhino beetle. So let's look at the, the changes in rhino beetle damage over time. And that's the whole idea of this, this schema, this survey method that we developed. This particular method is established everywhere rhino beetles are being surveyed. The CRB damage survey is used by taking high-definition digital images recorded along roadsides of all major routes at a rate of one per second by a smartphone attached to a vehicle with a magnetic device mount angled at 15 degrees. Then in the lab, a computer program developed using an artificial intelligence technique called deep learning examines every image to identify all the coconut palms, measure the CRB damage to each, and then generates an interactive map. The new method is way better because the whole island will be covered in two days. Dr. Moore shares ways you can identify a tree that has been affected by a rhino beetle. The adults, both the males and females, mm -hmm. bore in to feed on the sap. When they do that, there's a borehole. Okay. Okay, and it's about this big, about an inch in diameter. Mm -hmm. uh, often you don't see them because the boreholes are started behind the, out the outer fronds. Mm -hmm. But when those fronds fall off, you'll see the borehole in the stem or in uh, the petiole, the, the base of the frond that fell off. He added that a hooked wire can be used to extract and destroy rhinoceros beetles adults feeding in coconut trees, further stating that if you stop CRB damage even after it being affected badly, the tree will heal on its own. The survey will be done by monthly and the data will continue to be used to measure changes in damage in response to CRB pest control activities. Moore's work on monitoring CRB damage in Guam is supported by grants from the U.S. Department of the Interior, Office of Insular Affairs, and the U.S. Forest Service. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusi Isaiah Uggen.